Normalize your desire. And you will have it. When we become aware of deliberate creation, we are often coming from a lack-filled life. That is, we desperately want or need something. So, we try to manipulate reality. And we binge-watch manifestation videos, hoping to bend reality to our will. That is the wrong way to go about it. The fastest results are only realized when you understand one key point of this existence. That is, who you really are. If you are identified with this human self, you are lost. You are lost because you are trying to mediate the powers of God from a human vessel. A human identity. So, guess what? You will be shown the human version of reality. Full of limitations and hurdles. But if you understand who you really are. If you identify with your true self. That is, an individualization of the all. Unique in your wants and personality, yet one with the whole. You are you individually, but you are also one with the whole. Then, you can mediate the godly powers of the Creator to manifest what you desire more freely. I am not saying that you need to fully understand this spiritual concept to successfully apply the law of assumption. Not at all. But then, you will have the human experience. Human experience is, what it is. What you are having right now. Hit and amiss. Not really content. Trying and begging etc. But when you realize that what you want, is yours, because there is no one to give it to you but yourself. You will see how ridiculous it is for us to put our desires on a pedestal. I have been normalizing my desires for this past year. Meaning, I assume that I have them from my higher self. Because I am the mediator of God's expansion in my experience. My persistent assumptions are, what source is manifesting for me in my experience? You see, source has no preference. The desire of the source are your desires. Because source wants to experience everything. Through us. It's individualization. And we, its individualization are advancing its game of creation and experience. If Source would control each and every aspect of all of its individualizations, then what is the point? Source cannot experience anything new. True expansion is only in the unknown. Thus, we are at the leading edge of creation. Articulating new experiences and continuing the expansion of the Source. So, if you have been given dominion over your experience, then why would you put your desires on a pedestal? as you are the one who needs to give them to yourself. Do you see the point? If you are giving it to yourself, then isn't it all completely normal? Not something of high value that you are not worthy of. I have been applying the law of assumption in this way in my life for quite some time now. And let me tell you this. I got plenty of my desires that I wanted. And now that I have them, I feel normal. I feel grateful, sure. I feel satisfied, sure. But I feel normal. These things were so out there for me, just a few years ago. Like how can I have them? I am not worthy and so on and so forth. But now that I have them, it seems like a normal thing for me to have. I assure you, whatever you want, once you will have it, you will feel completely normal. The over-the-top emotion might last for a few minutes. And you are back to normal. This is not to discourage you that desires are meaningless. Not at all. I am much happier and content now, than I was, a few years ago with my desires now fulfilled. What I am trying to convey to you is that what you want is completely normal for you to have. You might be feeling right now that how can I have it? It is too good for me. It is too out of reach for me. That is the human you. That is your mind that believes in separation. The egoic you. For it, it will always be like that. As it believes in separation. Thus, something outside of it has to grant you that desire. While if you assume from your higher self, that is, I am the mediator of the all, in my experience. Thus, all that I want is for me to have. All I have to do is assume that it is mine. Feel normal about it, and I will have it. That is all. You become aware of what you want. You become aware of having it. You normalize it for you. Knowing who you really are. And you will have it in this 3D experience. The missing key for most people when it comes to the law of assumption is this. They know the law, but they still serve two masters. That is, they still think that this thing is outside of me. And some outer god will bestow it upon me. That is, they give power to the outside world. To something external. I suggest all of you to listen to a lecture of Neville Goddard. Where he talks about buying the pearl of great price. That is, once you know that you are the cause of this life, you cannot go back to your old ways and give power to something external. That is, you cannot serve two masters. So, if you now understand who you are, you can begin to normalize your desires. Feel normal about them. 
They are not too good. Too out there. They are within you. They came into your awareness because your divinity wanted to experience having them. And all you have to do is assume that you have it. Normalize it for yourself. And it will come about in the most natural of ways. And you won't even feel over the moon about it. As it is a normal thing for you.